what can I say? One mistake you got punished there. Eh? You didn't you didn't mark on the box. Free header there. It's unbelievable because uh, I was warning the players. I said uh, if we can work hard on set pieces and corner kicks against the team that was very strong on set pieces in the league, that has scored about 24, 25 goals on set pieces uh, a few days back. And I warned them. I said. I said, you have defended set pieces in the Champions League. You have defended all the, I mean, it's been, it's been a long time before we considered the direct head of on a corner kick. And I told them, I said, don't underestimate them because they're big boys also. They've got big boys, the same thing. And um, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if I jinx them or catch them, but uh, I'm the coach and I have to warn them about these things. And, it's no use to say, I told you so, you know, we have to move on. That's that's the mistake we did uh, on our side against uh, Barocca. You know, the rest is it's a different game after that game. After that goal, it's, it becomes a different game. Yeah, what a game. Um, can we take questions? Who's first? Um, okay, um, Valina. Um, yes, sure, coach. Um, coach, I know you have professionals, as you've just said. Um, them receiving the news of Chiefs losing, um, how would you say maybe this affected them um, uh, coming to this game in terms of uh, the expectation, and and also just on not taking advantage because even a draw today would have been enough to take you to the top especially around this time you see really when 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 football happens and, and results don't come right I'm, I'm the guy who doesn't want to make, to make excuses why we did not win uh, we did not win because we didn't take more chances we did not win because we didn't mark in the box on the corner kick whether they knew the results or they don't know the results uh, uh, hindsight is the best side, to be honest, the best side. We can always speak about it after, but uh, I don't know whether that changed their moods or not. And, and uh, I can't be going through uh, players' phones and taking all the players' phones and say uh, they must not know what happens. I mean, when they came back, uh, probably they knew. Of course, they knew when they went into the, in the, in the dressing room because I think they saw their phones, you know, and they, they also have an invested interest to know how, how did it happen. So I don't like to, to, to make excuses because we lost. Next question. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Shubhi. Good evening, Coach uh, Karabo. Uh, Coach, I think there's, there's, there's some of the aspects that, that really needs the league uh, possibly to act on up, upon, uh, particularly the last 15-20 uh, minutes. Coach, do you think in your own uh, uh, advice to the league, if that's possible, is there any way that the league can try to regulate you know, the, the time-wasting tactics that we saw from the opposition today, or it's just you know maybe a message from the opposition coach, uh, from the opposition coach to say, let's try to, by all means, to, to get this uh, three points? Yeah, again, Carabo, uh, when times are like this, I don't want to make excuses uh, on that. Everybody sees, you saw what happens. Uh, I thought Chip is a, is a master of all this, but uh, I think Barocca is breeding this kind of uh, uh, goalkeepers or behavior, but it's okay, you know. Uh, we were holding on against Kerala Chiefs, you could see, um, a few days back. We were holding on, but did you see Kennedy lying on the floor every time and, and doing that? No, we, 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 we play proper, we play normal. So maybe Dylan can tell you, he can tell you how, how far the guy how injured, how the guy got injured. But immediately after they gave him a yellow card, he, he could not do that again because he knew that he might be out. But it's okay. It's, it's, I mean, we have seen this a lot in Africa. So why is Sandam surprised about this? It's okay, but we'll talk about it if it happens. But we don't make it an excuse. That's what we lost. Can we have the last two questions, please? Uh, 
Uh, coach, evening, it's Mazola. Um, <clears throat> I just want to find out, Coach, obviously, I mean, what, six, seven years at Sundowns, four league titles. Um, have you ever seen a, a finish like this one? I mean, it's advantage Sundowns, then it's back advantage Chiefs, um, Ernst Middendorf's uh, frustration at the end of their game. We saw it. He, he didn't even come to a post-match press conference. Um, we saw you, you know, kicking about there at the end. Have you seen anything like this in the years fighting for the championship? It's unbelievable. It's the beautiful football, eh? Uh, it keeps everybody on the edge. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm as well disappointed. So disappointed. It's not funny. That uh, at least take a point, you know. In the last, in the last uh, 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 water break, I, I told the guys, guys, even if we don't win this game, you take a point, you, you are a step ahead. Uh, we fought for a point because that's what was the reality at that time. We have to equalize first before we can talk about the winning goal. But it's, it's unbelievable the way it's going. It's, it's madness. We can say it's a beautiful football, but it's, it's frustration is to, to us as coaches. As you said, uh, Coach Melinom didn't even go to the post match interviews. It's, it's, it's frustrations. We are human beings, you know, and the expectations are high. You know, behind us is is, is, a whole, is an institute. It's, it's everybody. It's our families. It's, it's the supporters that uh, they get disappointed. You know, and uh, we as the coaches, we have to take uh, the blame. So as much as we take credit, but uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, uh, this thing still has a heartbeat. Yeah. It's unbelievable. You never know what's going to happen. So, what can I say? Try and win our last two games and, and see how it goes. You know, probably the goals one who help us, but uh, you never know. We're losing players. Everybody is losing players with injuries. Um, you saw that uh, Rebaldo was not in. We brought in AJ in the space of Rebaldo. He couldn't finish with the hamstring. Musa had a big muscle uh, problem. After he hit the ball, you could see that he's, he's struggling. But um, I think we have enough players to bring to bring on board to, to replace. So let's see. Yeah, we're all losing players with muscle injuries. All these are muscle injuries, and they are related to the heavy load that we have. I mean, to be honest, when last did Baroka play in the in the first half? You can see in the first half they were quicker, faster. Than us, but you know why? Because they haven't played for six days, maybe if I'm not mistaken, or more than that. And we just played two days back, so they're faster, fresher, and 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 that's it. But we don't want to make excuses, but it is the truth. We're playing against all these well rested teams, and yeah, that's it. So, last two games, we go for it and we'll fight for it and they hope for the best. But, congratulations to, to Baroka, they took their chance. And they protected um, their goal, and and that's the way. That's the tactic. You have to protect your goals after they scored. So they did what they have to do. We just have those little things that are outside of of disrespecting and and and, and disrespecting our players. But we, it's okay. We will take the defeat. Can we have the last question, please? Uh, coach uh, Spiro here. Personally, how are you dealing with the with the pressure, and how are you shielding the players from this high pressure situation? Um, our job, our job is pressure. As coach, we are trained to be to be professionals. We are trained, we are trained to 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 take the pressure. Uh, in, in our in our profession, there's always pressure. There's always expectations. There's always anybody's opinion. You know, one day you're loved, one day you're not. So the players have to understand it and um, and give their best. We, we, we don't make excuses on pressure. Uh, professionals must play with the pressure, must enjoy the pressure, must thrive with pressure, within pressure. You know, I, I, I come out stronger uh, under very high criticism. And, and I like to look back and say to, to whoever or everybody who said things that this can never happen, 
but we can make it and say, look at us now, you know? So, yeah, pressure, pressure, criticism, it's okay, guys. We, if you don't want to be criticized, don't be a coach. If you don't want to be criticized, don't be a football player. It's, it's, it's your life, it's, it's everyday uh, story. You know, you can ask all the coaches at this point in time, the Peps, the Mourinho's, how they're feeling this season of going home without with nothing. So it's, you you move on. Let's try and make sure that uh, we fight for this thing until the end because you never know, you know. And then we've got the net bank also to fight for. So I, I don't think um, anybody must must complain about pressure or shy away or or, or, or feel. Um, that is being criticized. No, no, no. It's, we, 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 we're going with this thing until it gets there. Doesn't matter. It's, it's your life. You are a professional. You're getting paid to work under pressure. You're getting paid to be criticized. So my players should 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 understand it, including myself. All right. Thank you, coach. You're welcome. So, if you can just start by giving us your perspective of the game, please. It was it was a t it was always going to be tough, and you know on, on Sundown's results when they played Chiefs, we knew that they were back in the hunt for the for the for the PSL. So I said to my players, we've got to keep the ball as much as we can, and when we haven't got the ball, we've got to be like dogs today, and we've got to hunt and scrap and fight and defend like and defend like heroes. And uh, we did that in the first half, in the second half. We knew they were going to come at us because we got the one 0 lead. Uh, it changed it, brought a few more attacking players on, and we just had to keep a shape. We didn't keep the ball very well in the last 20 minutes, uh, but, but you can understand that for the youthfulness of, the, of, of my, my squad. Uh, but they all put a shift in, and they all they all knew the importance of this game, and I'm very very proud of them and every everybody involved. Um, and, and everybody was happy at the end of the end of the game, and because we've got a young, inexperienced squad, the 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 boy boyfulness of the of, of, of my players, you know, they, they were overexcited, and you know they'll learn from it. You know, they've just got to keep the emotions, you know, to the team, to the dressing room, uh, without disrespecting uh, Pizzo or Mamadou Sundowns. Um, if we can have the first question, please. Um, coach, uh, congratulations on the three points today. Vanilla here from SABC. Hi, Vanilla. Uh, yes, yes, coach. Um, I, I, I was listening to your post match on TV, and you talk about if you can be allowed um, to do your job. What th there's something that is uh, you do not to be happy, um, and, and how has that contributed? Uh, maybe even the situation that you are finding yourself in now, and also how important it is for you um, to confirm your status or to put yourself in a better position um, in your next game against Super Sport and not wait for the last day. Of the well, we've not we've not confirmed our status. It's it's give us it's give us a boost. You know, we played against we played against Newfoundland Celtic. We didn't turn up. We played against Lamazulu, which was always going to be tough. It's a it's a battle. We played well against all under Pirates. We played very, very well against Chipper. And today we, we, we've gradually gone up, you know, as, as although we've had two draws and one defeat, our performance levels have gone up and gone up and gone up. And, and that's been fantastic, you know, with what we did today. And we, we needed a performance today from everybody, everybody, the, the, the technical bench, the, the, the squad, you know, and even the players that didn't travel to the, to the game. You know, my four ball boys, well, Chipper Zazi, Madondo, Bans, Matumi, and Ungabani. You know, because I wanted them in the dressing room because they're good professionals, and they're, and they're good for the for the morale of the club because they they keep people happy and smiling. So, you know, it's it's three points. And that's the end of it. And and for your first comment, you know, that that's something you know that that, that that's that's just in, inside of me. So I'm gonna you know keep that to myself. Can we have the next question? 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Shupi. Uh, Coach, well, obviously, as, as uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Velile, said that it's a massive three points for you and uh, this gives you also an opportunity to stay in this league. Uh, would, would you say to some extent, I mean, I mean, a lot was, was said and done, you know, in the last 15, 20 minutes between uh, your bench and Mamelu Sundowns. Are you privy to share that? And secondly, uh, there was it, it looked like uh, time wasting from your side and, and from the way that I know you are a football man, born and bred through and through. Uh, any comment on that, on, 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 on how your play were, were reacting in the last 15, 20 minutes or it's because, uh, you know, on on how this is uh, important for their lives and careers as well, Coach? I don't think we can. I mean, Ayanda's been... Uh, we were lucky that Ayanda, my goalkeeper, played. I've got an 18-year-old MDC player and imagine me having to play in, in, in the, one of the biggest games ever against one of the best teams in South Africa. You know, we had, we had to risk Ayanda and we had to baby him this week because he got a groin problem. So... I don't think it was time wasting for Mayanda. And I explained that to Pitso. The, 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 the heated exchange we had was the, the fourth official don't know, doesn't know the rules about substitutions. You know, we made one substitution in, in just after half time. Then we made a double substitution. And he said that we've made all three substitutions, which, you know, for me was, was, was nonsense. So there was, a, there was an heated exchange because the, even Mamelodi Sundown's bench were trying to persuade the fourth official and the linesman that we'd made three substitutions, but we hadn't, and we got it, we got them written down, you know. So, but no, I mean, you know, football, you, you, you've got to, you've got to, sometimes you've got to time manage, you know, the, the game. So we were under a lot of pressure uh, because sometimes we go down, and, you, and a, a team like sometimes, if you give them opportunities uh, without, you know, getting yourselves ready. They, they, they might have, you know, they might have sneaked a draw. They, they had a ball, I think, across the penalty box that they didn't go on the end of. And Ayanda made an absolute fantastic save at the end where he tipped it over the bar. Um, so yeah, I don't think, I don't think, as you said, as a football man, we we don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, like people time wasting. And I've seen, I've seen it a lot. But you know, genuinely, you know, Ayanda was struggling, you know, with, with his with a with a groin injury, but. You know, he's kept a clean sheet, which is fantastic for, for the club. Okay, if we can have the last question, please. Thanks. Uh, Coach Mazola Mulefe here from Soka Laduma. Um, Dylan, I just want to find out whether it sort of, uh, you know, it, it, it motivates you and, 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 and your men uh, in the final stretch, given what's happened against the so-called <laughs> big teams you had. You know, you got a big point against Orlando Pirates and the coach, whether it's misinterpretation or whether it's misunderstanding of the English language, said small team. And then now Mama Lady Sundowns, I think there were comments made at the end that don't get too excited, you're a relegation team. Does that fire you up for, 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 for this uh, relegation uh, battle as well in the last uh, few games since the, the restart? Well, you know, as a coach, you work with players day in, day out. You know what they can perform and what they can produce in training. You know, unfortunately, they don't take that same work ethic, and that same imagination, that same energy, and that same enthusiasm into games. You know, and it shouldn't be you're playing against, it doesn't matter what team you should play. You know, your, your mentality should be, I'm going to give 110%. I'm going to work for my players, uh, my teammates 110%, and I'm not going to let anybody down. You know, so, you know, the, 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 the Pirates coach apologised for, for his comment, you know, which, which was fantastic. You know, and, and you know, my, my respect for Pizzo is, is, is beyond words. But, you know, when it comes to the game, I have to plan, you know, how we can manage the game and beat Mamalodi Sundowns. Everybody expected us to get beat today. Everybody maybe have thought, oh, get a point and then that'll, that, you know, with your goal difference being so so better than other teams, get a point and that, that's like having three points. But once we got the three go once we got the three the goal, you know, it was my players wanted to keep that three points. And and this is what I've got to preach to these players to change that mentality of being in a relegation battle, which they have been year after year after year. They have to change that mentality. And if I'm allowed and if I can do it and if I can, you know, get get into the psyche of players to do what they've done today, which is scrap and fight and battle and, and play ugly football at times. You know, but, but that's, that's football. You're playing against the Mamelodi Sundowns that 
you know, a, a head and foot, shoulders above us on paper. But if you've got a, if you if you've got a heart, if you've got the stomach, you've got the balls to say, right, I'm not going to get beat today, and you you you, you manage to sneak a goal from Junior, which was a great delivery, great header. You know, then then everybody's happy. I'm happy. My chairman's happy. You know, the supporters are happy. But we, we're still not finished yet. We're still not safe. We still got Super Sport on Tuesday. Then we've got an even bigger game against Kaiser Chiefs, and I, I don't even know their result yet. So I don't know if they if they they've gone home happy or you know they've um, they're in the same boat as Mamalodi Sundowns. I don't know yet.